It's not a wolf. And it's not just any old dog. Man, I don't know, but the thing was big, whatever it was. It walks on its hind legs, lashes out when it feels threatened, and carries a deadly bacteria. This frightening creature is known as Michigan's Dog Man. Filmmaker Rich Brower of Brower Productions was inspired to make the movie from a song. Dog Man started as a song 25 years ago by Steve Cook, who works at WTCM. The Dog Man was filmed in Benzie County. When you do a movie like Dog Man, it needs to be in a very rural setting. You know, I'm not going to shoot it downtown Traverse City. So we went to the Benzie Chamber and uh, met with them at a, one of their normal meetings and basically asked them if they wanted us to be there in their community. And they all went, yeah, you crazy, of course. Dogman has already been released locally, but they are now distributing the movie nationwide. Uh, luckily, we just received um, a contract with a distribution company in L.A., and they're representing us in North America. And they're probably going to repackage it. It's still going to be called Dogman, and it's going to be exactly the same thing inside. It's just going to have their art on it. Just as the legend of the dog man is unleashed to the masses, Brower is already working on what happens next. I'm on page 20 out of 100 right now, so it's, it's feeling really good. It's a, it's a whole different movie. The sequel is not the same stuff again. It is a whole nother level of this thing. For those of your viewers that have seen Dog Man, you know that I left it hanging and there's a lot of unanswered questions. You know, something doesn't feel right. Will they be able to save the dog man's victims? And what's wiggling around in Francis Wellman's coat? And if we pull it off, we'll probably do it late winter next year. So until then, as the leaves begin to fall and things go missing, keep an eye out because Dogman might just have his eye on you.